friends, it's Andy. Welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to go ahead and share with you the uh, notebooks that I'm going to be using for 2021. Um, let me just show you to give you an idea of what I was using or am currently using and will finish in December. This is my A5 Stalogy, and this is the half year, okay? As you can see, it has grown quite a bit. She's a chunker, and that's mainly because I have tipped in quite a few uh, items, and uh, I used some inserts, a ton of stickers, and whatnot. So it definitely expanded. Um, for, let me set this one aside, um, for planning purposes, I'm going to continue, um, the A5 half year for work. This one did not get as expanded as the other one. Um, I'm a little bit, uh, probably say like a little bit, uh, close to the halfway point. Um, I've started it in September, um, and I'm going to finish out December in it, and then January will start like the halfway point of the book, and I just kind of do like a monthly, um, a monthly on two pages in this book, and then I just do like a week on one page. Um, but yeah, this has really been working for uh, a work bujo and I really enjoy it. I just keep it um, so it doesn't get too like damaged. I keep it in this Mead notebook cover that I got from Target like a couple years ago. Um, you could insert the other cover right here but I don't. I tend to take it out of the cover when I'm using it um, just because I have limited space on my desk uh, where my computer for work is at. Um, but yeah, I love it. And the vinyl on here is from Christy Marie Designs. I will link her shop down below in the description box if you're interested. Um, but yeah, love my work, Bujo. Um, I can't really show you the spreads in this one because it does have like work information in here that I can't really share with you. Um, but I will continue to use that one until that notebook is gone. And then my personal um, bullet journal, I keep in the A5 um, Stalogy. I'm sticking with that size because that size really works for me as far as spreads go. Like it's like the perfect amount of space that's needed to do what I need to do in here. Um, so... I'm going to stick with the size. However, I accidentally ordered a full year instead of a half year. So I'm a little, I'm a little scared of what this is going to look like or if this will even fit um, inside my Moterm um, cover once I start using it. So this is the difference in the width. And as you can see, like the half year, I really stretched her out. She, she's she's quite chunky so <laughs> I'm kind of scared what this one's gonna turn like uh, but that's okay but you know I'm gonna use it I ordered it I'm gonna use it I love it I love the paper I love the binding I love the way that the paper takes the pen that I use um, I did already kind of set it up for 2021 in here but I'll do a flip through of that when I do um, the planning for January Again, the vinyl is from Christy Marie Designs. Um, the cover, uh, the Moterm cover, was gifted to me for my birthday by my friend Johanna. Um, if I can find the link for it on Amazon, I will go ahead and link it for you down below if you're interested in checking that out. Um, but I love it. It's like a very buttery, soft type of feel to it. And, um, yeah, 
this is going to be the personal social media bullet journal situation. Um, and to give you an idea of the difference in size, those two were A5s, like this one. Um, and my journal for 2021 is going to be in an A6. Um, again, vinyl is by Christy Marie Designs. <laughs> I swear, not sponsored. <laughs> I just really love her product. So, um, yeah, I put my name on the front here. And then to set it up, to kind of get it started, because that's always like the most intimidating part of starting a journal is filling out the first page. I just did a title page. It just says, this commonplace journal belongs to, and then my name in vinyl, again, by Christy Marie Designs. And then I just use my little cat uh, and, um, I think it's move, move, Malong. How, how do you say it? The little bunny rabbit? Um, stickers just all over as kind of deco. And then I put a start date will be January 2021. And then I don't know when I'm going to end it. It might last me the full year, it might not. It might last me more than one year. So I'll just put in the, the month and the year of when I finish the journal. Um, but yeah, that's a quite a size difference. Um, mainly because I love journaling, but in this year, like I don't have a lot, I feel like I don't have a lot to document because I'm not really going anywhere. So I wanted something that was a little bit more compact, but I still wanted the same quality in the binding, um, the flexibility of the soft cover, and the quality in the paper. So I stuck with the Stalogy. I just changed the size. And although I've labeled this as a commonplace journal, uh, my journaling tends to be kind of a mix. Some pages are just like a commonplace journal where I'm writing down quotes from books that I'm reading, song lyrics. It could just be uh, something that I heard somebody say on a TV show. Um, it could just be random thoughts that I'm having. It could be a currently page. It could be actually documenting everything that happened in that day in like a Fobonichi type of style. It just depends on what kind of journaling mood I'm in when I sit down to actually put pen to paper and what I'm writing about. So this will be kind of a mishmash of all of that. I might tip some things in. I might, you know, cut and paste some things in. I might try my hand at doing a little bit of doodling. Um, definitely will use stickers and washi uh, tape because that is definitely my style. Maybe I'll do a little bit of coloring or, you know, watercolor wash. I don't know. You're just going to have to wait and see how I end up using this, but uh, I really like the size. Um, and I think that this size of a blank page is a lot less intimidating than trying to fill out a journal entry um, and this, <laughs> like to me, that just seems very, uh, very intimidating to try to fill up for one day on a page, um, when I don't have a lot going on right now. So yeah, I'm excited to get into this one. Uh, I'll do some journal with me videos so you can get an idea of how I'm using it. And I'll definitely do like a flip through of it when I'm done with it. So you guys can check that out. All right. So that is it for my, um, wait, notebooks, notebooks that I'm using for planning and journaling pages or journaling purposes, sorry, um, in 2021. Let me know down below in the comment section uh, what kind of planner or journaling uh, notebook you're using in 2021, if you're going to keep one. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. That's it for today's video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!